All right, here we go. BSP WM uh, episode three, and uh, what we're going to be looking at here is actually this. Uh, it's my panel app launcher down here in the right hand bottom corner. Um, it's just really a menu you can click on, open things up. Um, first, I'm going to show you uh, this is my paste pen. It's located at pastepen.com slash u slash jwm224 and we're gonna need two files from this paste bin um, now the first file we're gonna look at is just panel underscore app launcher and the second file is gonna be um, this panel dot d slash diskette dot xbm uh, an xbm is um, actually it's a, a bit icon, and it's the icon you see um, on this little this little square here. And I, I just kind of want to make this uh, point this out uh, that this this entire bar is actually XMO bar, and the only thing we're looking at is this little square. This little square is the only thing that uh, that works with with this menu. But uh, that little diskette that you see is the uh, XBM icon. You can also see they're just bit icons, kind of like the node up here in front of um, Anthrax, uh, the speaker, a uh, little envelope for mail. That's all they are. Let's uh, look at this app, app launcher. And to start this out, I actually have you copy this copy this entire um, file here it's only 17 lines um, go over to a, find a terminal and we're actually going to go to we're going to cd into change direction change directory into a user ben location which is an ex executable path okay and from here, um, use whatever you want as far as the text editor, editor goes. I'm going to use Vim, uh, but you want to create its panel underscore app launcher. Okay. Uh, now, after you create that, I want you to go ahead and copy, copy in. Uh, those 17 lines after you get those 17 lines in I want you to save save and quit out of the file um, then we're gonna go ahead since this is located in user bin we're gonna have to use sudo but uh, we're gonna sudo and we're gonna uh, chmode or change mode and make this an executable so plus X and uh, that's gonna be a uh, panel Oops. Panel app launcher. It's not going to hurt when you make an executable twice. So, uh, the next thing we're going to do, well, since we're already in this location, is we're going to go ahead and um, create um, a directory. So, mkdir is make directory. And uh, the directory we're going to make is uh, panel.d for panel directory. Okay, since I already have that directory, I'm not going to create it again. But I am, I am going to change directories into that directory, which I'd like you to do the same. All right. So we go into the panel.d directory. I'm just going to list it out here just to show you this is where I keep my XBM icons. Um, but uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and create... Um, this diskette icon, so um, Vim or Nano, whatever you're going to use is your text editor, and then uh, diskette.xbm. Okay, and you, as you can see, I already have, the, and it's it's only four lines copied over, but I'll go back to my pace and. Uh, 
go ahead and just copy these four lines and those four lines will actually give you that little disk icon but after you do that um, go ahead and write quit out of there same thing you're going to sudo change mod plus x to make it executable and blam that's it okay so now you have pretty much everything to run um, to run the uh, the panel app launcher but the only problem you're going to have is you're not going to have no executables in it um, now to, to put the executables in the path what I do first of all first of all I, the, I change directory and I, I make sure that I'm in, in my home directory right so just pwd for print working directory as you can see slash home slash jwm224 okay from my home directory um, I'm going to go ahead and make a directory and we're going to call it dot bin okay after you make your uh, your dot bin directory which I'm not going to make it again since I already have it um, you're going to change directories into your bin directory alright now the next directory you're going to want to create is uh, panel labs as you can see it's the only directory I have in my bin directory the rest of these are all executables alright so make directory and panel apps after, after you create um, well you, you don't I was gonna say you don't need to add sudo since since um, this is a part of your home directories path um, but after after you make that directory again I don't want to have you um, change directories into that directory okay now once you're in this directory I'm just going to kind of show you what I got going on I'll do the long I have shortcuts um, when I do a long list here you can see that um, everything that's in this that's in this file is um, what they are is uh, soft links to the executable path of, of, of those programs and um, I actually have two that I'm going to add that, that I haven't added yet and I've been saving just for this tutorial okay and they uh, okay the commands for this is link it's ln and then you're going to want to use dash s for soft link okay and the first one is user and it's a game so games bin and it's uh, it's pacman arena and there we have it now once you, once you actually create the link and you have the um, executable path to the game next you want to uh, create the name that you want listed in your menu so we're going to call it pacman arena just like that all right now the next one that i have that i um, haven't created was um, virtual box which is located in user um, Ben and actually starts with a capital just because I looked it up and since I don't have anything else capital I'm gonna just put it all in lowercase. Alright, there we have it. Now I re redo my long list and you can see that uh, actually yeah, you can see that the, the the two dates that stand out, September 21st, these are the two that I just added. Okay. Okay, now um, I'm going to show you one more thing here. Um, let me open up a new tab. 
we're actually going to change directories we're going to go back to user bin All right. and I'm going to list out panel okay and you can see the panel panel app launcher which I'm going to go back in just so I can show you some stuff panel app launcher alright all right. Okay. First of all, first of all, this is the icon, the icon path, which we created. User bin panel dot d and then diskette dot xbm. If you were to have that in a different location, like say you you did put this in with your home directory bin file, you would have to you'd have to put uh, the exact the exact path to the diskette. Dot, uh, XBM. Uh, the next is uh, the dir directory that we created under home uh, for me JW M two two four and it's uh, slash dot bin. Um, some people create their bin in their home directory without the dot. I I use it just to keep it in with the hidden um, hidden files. So and then slash uh, panel apps and that's where we created our soft links um, so this points to the actual directory and that's where file names are coming from um, if we if we scroll down here to line 16 where you see uh, it starts out with uh, DZEN2 um, if, you, if you come over to where you see the the dash X 1340 and dash Y 17 or I'm sorry 760 um, the depending on your resolution you might have to change this like if you have um, 1080 by 800 you might have to change it to 1040 by um, 760 I don't know or no I guess 800 probably 796 something like that um, yeah for me I, I have uh, I think 1378 by 768 something like that um, So, the, so those are the actual coordinates I, I had to put in. That's something you might have to play with. Now here where it says dash BG is your background color. Um, actually, let's, let's play with that kind of so I can show you. Um, okay, this is a great site here I use. It's John, johncfish.com. Um, if you actually just type in John C. Fish and then type in um, color codes, you'll get this site. But uh, I'm gonna put that in. See, it gives me that same blue. Uh, instead of blue, since I do have some greens in here, let's try and match that green. Let's say that's pretty close. All right, and um, go ahead and copy. I'm good. Copy that color over, and the foreground instead of white. Let's change it to black. We'll put that five in there, which just just makes it a slightly lighter black, so it's not real, real dark black. Although it's still going to be real dark. Um, after that, I mean, the, the, this is foreground. Foregrounds. Um, your actual your actual uh, font and then after that you have your dash um, FN which actually is your font if you did want to change your font um, coming down here below dash E where it says button 3 like I use button 3 to actually click on um, even though I'm on a laptop it just seems to work out best for me this is something you might want to play around with um, button 2 clicks on the actual menu um, but uh, let's give this a try with the new colors and um, 
the added entries see see what it looks like um, now since I did put it in an executable path since it is in user since it is in user bin um, you can actually like I can change directory back to my home directory and I could run um, panel app launcher I can actually run it from here as you'll see see how it changed from blue to green all right now if we click on it there's our new menu and then there's the black that I added um, and as you can see Pac-Man Arena that's added uh, so is VirtualBox um, I have trouble with VirtualBox as far as the drivers go um, what the the actual modules loading with Gen 2 for some reason when I start it up but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this working yeah see it's, it's telling me right I mean you can tell that the actual path worked but it says modules are not loaded please load all the module or please load all the needed kernel modules blah 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 blah, blah, blah. okay so but the path did work uh, I could try this Pac-Man even though it's full screen if it cuts us off and everything goes black uh, just end the video there but uh, where are we at? let's actually go to a screen that we don't have anything on before we do this oops let's try it again Pac-Man Arena there we are All right, we quit. We quit out of it. It actually worked. All right, uh, good thing. But uh, that's that's that. Uh, if you have any trouble um, as far as tweaking it, or um, if you have any trouble with linking the executables or any anything does doesn't work, uh, just get at me. Let me know. Um, but I think that's that. It's uh, it's not too bad. It's pretty easy. Um, but yeah. If you have any problems, get at me. Alright, peace later.